Hello, uh, my name's Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an abdominal examination of yourself today. So that's going to involve you taking off your shirt, having a look at your uh, stomach and getting you to lie down on the bed. We'll be then putting my hands on your stomach and pressing around and seeing if we can find any problems. Is that okay? That's fine. So before we start, could we please confirm your name and date of birth? So David Rogerson, 161092. Super. So are you happy for us to proceed with the abdominal examination? Yep. Super. Before we start, do you have any problems with your stomach? Not that I'm aware of. Super. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, move the bed up. And if you kind of take off your shirt and uh, lie back for me. Okay. So just starting off, I'm just having a look to see if we can see anything. So you seem calm and you don't seem to have any problems, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so if we start off, if you put your hands out for me. Can't see any obvious issues and there are no shakes there. If you could turn your hands over, please. I'm having a look, there's no clear scars and things. Okay, there's no problems with the palm. I'm just going to press on there. There's no obvious issues there. And if you could put your arms all the way out for me. Okay, so there's no evidence of uh, a liver flap there. That's good. If you could put your fingers together like so, please. So I'm just going to take both wrists if I might. I'm just going to check your pulse. That's fine. I'm just going to go and check a little bit higher on your arm. Okay, that's all good. So now I need to have a look at your face if that's okay. You could just pull your eyelids down for me. Okay, so there's no signs of anemia there. That's good. And if you could pull your eyelids up, please. And there's no jaundice. Super. Okay, if you could show me your tongue, if that's okay. Okay, so there's no signs of um, glossitis, there's no inflammation or anemia there. And if we could see your teeth, please. That's grand. So I can't see any obvious issues there. If you could swing your legs over the bed, what I'd like to do is examine your head and neck from behind. So I'm just going to put my hands on your neck. Okay. So I'm going to start off under your chin. So just going to see if there's any lumps or bumps. Tell me if there's any discomfort at all. That's fine. And then going up in front of the ears and behind, checking the back of the head and checking our deep and superficial chains and up to the tonsillar area. And if you could just shrug your shoulders up and forwards, okay, and just go on the front of the clavicle. That's fine. Relax. Right, we're going to lie you flat and I'm then going to press around your stomach if that's okay. Yep. So if we could sit up for me. And as you do so, if you could just make sure your trousers are down to the top of your hips. Yep. Okay. And just relax with your hands by your sides. So I can't see any abnormal issues on your stomach. Um, are there any areas of pain or tenderness? No. Okay. So we're just going to press around initially to see if there's any signs of tenderness. If there is, please stop me. Okay, any problems with that? No. Nope. So we're going to go a little bit deeper now. I'm going to use both hands. Okay, that's fine. There don't seem to be any issues there. I'm just going to press at the back, see if I can see the kidneys. That's good. I'm just going to press down either side. And we've not got a problem there. Now, I'm going to try and find your liver, if that's okay. So I'm going to push down quite deeply, and I need you to breathe in and out, as I suggest. So deep breath in, and out. 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 And was there any pain with that? No. Good. So I'm now going to do the same again over to the spleen. So deep breath in for me. And out. In. And out. In. And out. In. And out. In. And out. In and out. Any problems at the end there? Okay. We're now just going to tap around and confirm what we've seen with the liver. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got a good change in note there. I'm going to do the same again over here. That's fine. I'm going to do the same just across the abdomen. I'm just going to podcast down. So I just need to press down over the uh, front of your pelvis, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you could just turn your head to the side for me and just give me a cough. <coughs> that's fine. <coughs> so just going to have a listen. Okay, so we've got normal bowel sounds there. I can't hear anything unusual. And I can't hear any unusual sounds uh, by the side of the stomach. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to see if there's any signs of fluid in your stomach. So I'm just going to percuss across. Okay, so we've got a nice change there. If you could roll towards me. Okay. And we're just going to let that sit for uh, 10 seconds. And we're going to do that again. Okay, that's fine. So there's no change in note there. Okay. And I'm going to have a quick look at your ankles. So there's no signs of uh, fluid there. That's good. And we're going to do the same thing again on the opposite side. So no signs of uh, fluid there. That's good. Okay. And if I could just get you to sit up for me so I can just have a quick press at your back. And there's no issues there, super. So we haven't found any abnormalities on that examination. Uh, we will um, see if there's any um, urine samples that we can uh, check. Um, we'll do a uh, look at a stool sample and also uh, a rectal examination, if that's okay, along with checking the uh, external genitalia and for any lymph nodes. Okay. Do you have any uh, questions about that? No, that's fine. Super. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.